Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 review. My name is James, and today we're going to do a detailed review of Kill Switch from the Action Force Valiverse line. So let's get this started! Alright, before we open this figure up, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We got Kill Switch. Uh, pretty sweet name Valiver's line 14 plus and uh, we got a nice fade of red with kind of going into darker red action force logo two action points and her file card name is Layla Richardson pretty cool and you got a nice uh, cartoon um, type rendition of the uh, four figures um, I will have all four uh, unboxing videos uh, in the future. Um, I'm going to open these and, and pump out these videos as fast as I can. So far it looks really good in this box. Got a nice artwork here. Kill Switch 303. Cool artwork there. Okay, so I have my trusty scalpel here. We'll go in from the bottom like we usually do. So this will be my uh, first impression, like always. I have not watched any reviews of any of these figures yet. That is later on the agenda. All right, so let's pull the tray out. Awesome, like before. Uh, figure stand is uh, taped on the inner box. Excellent, there she is in plastic. So we're going to take a look at uh, the accessories from smallest to biggest. We'll go for the fists and hands and whatnot. So we have, like always, uh, with every Action Force figure, we got all a bunch of hands, black, these black hands here. Uh, cup hands, holding hands, and uh, fisted hands, and the trigger hands are all on the figure as default. One of the smallest weapons here is this bladed weapon here with some nice silver... Uh, paint app with the handle grip very nice it also comes with these magazines these gray magazines some nice little uh, sculpt sculpted detail and it comes with this very awesome sidearm really cool two-tone gray and black love the color scheme these uh, always these action force weapons are on point with the detail and the realism very cool next comes with this rifle or uh, machine gun or whatever you want to call it I'm not really too sure let me know in the comment section down below what what type of weapon this is of course the uh, magazines fit right in so we'll just put it in right now why why not while we're, while we're looking that looks really cool with the gray and black and also it comes with another type of rifle looks like a, some sort of sniper rifle and the magazine is already in the weapon itself. I don't know if it comes out. I don't want to pull it out. But anyway, it looks cool. Nice gray and black. Pretty sweet. Nice detail. Nice uh, texture on the barrel here. Of course, you put blast effects in all these weapons. I haven't mentioned that before in the past. Probably a million times. It also comes with this extra head. Let's get this to focus. You got the cool eyes. Wow. Nice little shine. It's kind of shiny. Kind of looks kind of glazed over. I don't know if you could see that. Nice texture on the balaclava. Really cool. Okay, let's look at the action figure. Very overall, right now, as we go through the, uh, of course, the uh, just the the overall color scheme of this figure. I love the dark red arms and the shirt underneath the. Uh, Underneath the harness here uh, looks really awesome. Nice paint deco on the uh, the chest piece. Got the silver scratches. You got the the Action Force type of uh, logo here. So let's take a little closer look. So top to bottom, uh, awesome dreads on her hair. That is that sculpted detail is pretty on point for sure. Take a look. Nice tone, uh, skin tone on her face. You got the really cool kind of paint app for her, um, like her nose ring. 
Let me know in the comment section down below if they're straight. Sorry, my eyes are not too good. But it looks straight to me. <laughs> All right, like I was saying, like the red uh, sleeves and the red shirt underneath contrasting with the cool, you know, OD green uh, chest uh, harness. Really cool red. Uh, red, green, and black work really well. Um, this is definitely very very beautiful looking figure just like a uh, Pandora um, that just the style is really cool all right so we, as we move down here you got holsters they're black of course this uh, kind of like spine uh, support kind of reminds me of that Matt Damon movie where he's wearing that exo suit um, let me know what movie that is down in the comment section down below I mean, it got the sheath for a knife. You got nice gray pants with nice texture. Got some pockets sculpted in with a holster, green and black. Same kind of, um, I'm fairly certain these are the same legs as Pandora, but different color. I don't mind the reuse as long as it looks like totally different, which it does. And uh, it's really hard to see uh, the difference between them because the totally different color I don't mind awesome so you got some nice black boots you got so you got these gray uh, kind of um, shields on her um, sh on her shins black boots all right guys so I got her nice and warmed up ready to go and we get to start moving her around and uh, articulating the joints perfect so we'll go top top to bottom like we usually do uh, head goes all the way around goes down that far goes up that far not too much hindrance of her hair it's uh, of course no butterfly joints but uh, as we uh, did the review with uh, Pandora we don't really need it because there's not much hindrance for her to arm her arms to cross over like that it's a uh, really easy to do and just a little bit of uh, manipulation and you can get her arms to cross you got double jointed uh, pinless elbows just like Pandora it's uh, pretty much the same body um, but different color and of course different head sculpt and whatnot. We got ab crunch. Of course, there is a uh, uh, She has the harness uh, hindering her from crunching too far, but you know, it doesn't it does move back and it moves a little bit down Of course, this, this kind of harness gets in the way like I was saying uh, Drop down hips like just like that legs go up. We got the um, cut at the thigh double jointed knees little tight there you go you kick her own butt almost you kick the, the at least the top of her back that's pretty cool you got a boot cut you got the rocker and the swivel at the ankles excellent so let's get her all geared up we'll start off with these magazines um, they go here um, let me know which way to put them I'm fairly certain they go upwards like that yeah, you can destroy me in the comment section. <laughs> All right. It looks good that way. The uh, little uh, knife in the sheath on the, in her back here. Yeah, do, do, do. That way. Cool. Got the sidearm. We're going to put it here. Excellent. There it is. Looks pretty good. Fits right in. He's still, she's still really malleable. You can move her around really well when she's warm. And it is minus 26 Celsius out there right now. It is Arctic cold. So heat is essential to uh, get this uh, get this lady to move around. So we'll put one of her rifles in her hand. Why the heck not? We got that sniper rifle. I guess we could just arm her to the teeth. All right, so I got her all armed up, both rifles in her hand. She's just gonna, I guess we're just gonna carry it. Let's, all right, let's see if she fits. Perfect. So there you have it, guys, all geared up. Uh, she looks really, really awesome. Um, overall impressions of this figure is really cool. Um, I wouldn't buy anything that's not cool. 
as you can see, all the figures I, I review, I really, really uh, enjoy them. Anyways, this figure is awesome. Um, I'm going to gush all over this figure. I really love the color. Just like Pandora, this is very, very well planned out and detailed. Uh, it's going to go really well with all your other Action Force figures. So here's another Action Force figure side by side. They look really cool together. Uh, amazing. I can't wait to open up the rest of these figures and take a really close look. And uh, I love making these videos. And also here is Pandora side by side. I can't wait to get the rest of these uh, Action Force uh, ladies out of the box and put them all together. They're just going to look wicked together. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to do all the rest of the Action Force uh, ladies. I'll be continuing to making videos as long as I get, keep on getting action figures. Specifically Action Force and, of course, Classified. So I appreciate everybody who subscribed to me. And thanks for watching. Yo, Joe, Action Force AF, and Cobra!